Well, it doesn't look anything like it does on TV. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna do it for you. Got to mind your own. spent a couple nights at Lebanon Hills Regional Park after my fiasco at Lake Elmo with no dogs being allowed and uh, going into Minneapolis today looking for Mary Tyler Moore house and then visiting and paying respects to the George Floyd Square Memorial. There it is. Boy it looks fancier. You know, and on TV you think it's a young lady who's running a house, an old house, you know, old apartments in a not so fancy uh, neighborhood. This neighborhood is extremely fancy. I'd probably guess million dollar at least. Yeah. Even in Minneapolis. I'll have to look later, but yeah, not what you expect. <laughs> but that's it. The famous house they shot. Oh, you can see. Oh, there we go. All, all the way at the top. There we go. I think that's the famous shot right there, all the way at the top there. Okay, there it is. Oh, look at there's the rounded part that you see. <laughs> I'd hate to live in a famous house. I wouldn't want people gawking at my house all the time. Apparently, I'm not the only one who feels that way. The house was on the market for five years before it finally sold in 2017 for $1.5 million. <laughs> Trying to be like on the DL about it. But very cool, huh? Yeah. All right. I saw it. I did it. Next stop, George Floyd Memorial. But I want to pay my respects. Very fancy. So getting here in anything bigger than a 24 foot class CRV would be a challenge. The neighborhoods are very narrow, windy, curvy streets and very, very fancy. Like the Beverly Hills of Minneapolis. Man, fancy. Seeing a lot of Black Lives Matter signs all over the city. A lot of George support, you know, remembering George Floyd, love. Love. There's a, a multicolored sign that's something about love. Oh my gosh. It's, a, it's really uh, hazy today. Okay, let's see if we can go find the Mary Tyler Moore statue. And I want to see if I recognize any of the downtown from the opening of the TV show. I doubt anything will look the same, but maybe. Oh wow, look at that mural. I love seeing all the art in all the different cities that I go to, the murals and stuff. Minneapolis St. Paul has a combined population of over 700,000 and the two cities are separated by the Mississippi River. St. Paul is the capital of Minnesota. So the Mary Tyler Moore statue stands at the exact spot where Mary Richards, or Mary Tyler Moore, flung her hat up in the air in the opening credits of the Mary Tyler Moore show. So let's see if we can see if anything looks familiar. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to stop. But under next to Dayton's, underneath Dayton's, you can see the Mary Tyler Moore statue. See it? Hi Mary! Hi Mary! There it is. There it is. Hi. So when the creative team was first developing the Mary Tyler Moore show, they originally thought that she was going to be a, di a recent divorcee who moved to Minneapolis, got her own apartment after her husband left her. But CBS said absolutely not. Mainstream viewers would never accept four things in their living room. New Yorkers, Jews, divorced women, and men with mustaches. So they nixed the divorce thing. And you notice in the pilot, it almost seems like it's kind of insinuated, but 
it's never verified. Crazy times, huh? Okay, I'm lost. I'm trying to find the George Floyd Memorial and Google's sending me in circles around the city. All right, I think we're on the right track. George Floyd Square memorializes George Floyd, a 46-year-old black man who was murdered by a Minneapolis police officer. A convenience store clerk called 911 after George Floyd used a fake $20 bill to buy cigarettes. Within 17 minutes of the first squad car arriving, George Floyd was on the ground and unconscious. Wow. Video from bystanders and witnesses and body cam footage show that George Floyd did not resist arrest. But liberty be took justice for me of blood, and yet he called that book the law to watch our back. Damn it, what crime is it to be black? Forget that book. We scream and scream, they catch me stuck. True freedom and justice we still lack. What they offer always oh, whack. No freedom in the land of the free, and yet put to place in abuse. Rights making no use, no equality in the house of justice. What at all is this? Forget that book. My kids, they grow in fear, I can know what burn. The rules for them vary, and that makes me worry. Put over, my kids are praying. They are not their praying. Put over, your kids. No, it's just a child over. Witnesses say that George Floyd was trying to de-escalate the situation, that he was trying to reason with the officers. However, in court, the police officer's attorney said that when George Floyd cried out, I can't breathe, when the officer's knee was on his neck, he said that was an act of resisting arrest. A jury found the officer guilty of murder and he was sentenced to prison. Within the last two days of making this video, he's appealing that decision. We still demand that you hold the trial of the four former officers charged in the murder of George Floyd in Minneapolis. We still demand that you ban the indemnification of law enforcement officers. We still demand that you end qualified immunity. We still demand that you invest $400,000 into the George Floyd Square zone through the neighborhood. That was pretty sad. There's not even really anything to say. I mean, you guys know how all the injustice of every person of color there. I tried to pay respects.